So now we are looking at 2019 GCE sets question which came under question 2B and the question reads the Venn diagram below shows the optional subjects that all the grades 10 learners at Kusambilila Secondary School took in a particular year. Alright, so that's our Venn diagram showing the optional subjects for grade 10s, all the grade 10s at Kusambilila Secondary School. So we're able to see um, this set represents the history subject, music, and the last set represents geography. So question number one. Given that 12 learners took music, find the value of x. Given that 12 learners took music, find the value of x. So to answer that question, we begin, we number, looking at question 2b, the number 1. So 12 learners took music. So we get our x minus 3 there, plus x plus 2, plus x minus 2, equal to this group the like terms x plus x plus x then negative 3 there which comes as minus 3 then positive 2 there coming as plus 2 and negative 2 there coming as minus 2 being equal to 12 Having done that, x plus x plus x gives us 3x, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, minus 2 is negative 3, which is equal to 12. So, we'll have our 3x there being equal to 12 and then grouping the like term when this negative 3 crosses the equal sign it becomes plus 3 and our 3x is equal to 15 what we need is the value of x so we divide by 3 there what you do this side you also do the other side so you also divide by 3 and our value of x is equal to 5. If you do that, you get the full marks. We got our B question. Our B question says, how many learners were in grade 10 this particular year? How many learners were in grade 10 this particular year? Okay, maybe let's not answer from there. Let's answer it from here. So that we have... Okay, this is question... We are looking at question 2. So that we have a little bit more of space. So we are going to add everything that we had this year so that we will get our actual answer. So, 59 plus x, the value is 5, so put 5 minus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 minus 2 plus 43. When you do that, you're going to add everything together. 59 plus 5 minus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 minus 2 plus 43. And you get your answer being... 
114 students. Or rather, the question is learners, huh? Learners. We now go to our question 3a, so we can come and solve it from up here. It says, find the number of learners who took one optional subject only. Find the number of learners who took one optional subject only. So for that one, this represents an intersection for those who took, this is an intersection. For those who took history and music, and that's the intersection for those who took music and geography. So for those that took single subjects, it's that value there, this value, and that. So we add 59 plus our 5 plus 2 there plus 43. So you're going to punch those numbers in, in on your calculator. 59 plus 5 plus 2 plus 43. And you get your answer being 109 learners. Let's answer part 2b, or part 3b rather. And the question is, find the number of learners who took two optional subjects only. Number of learners who took two optional subjects only. So now this one, it's where we are going to use, we come to two optional subjects only. This is now where we come to this intersection. We consider that one and that one there. So, our value of x5 minus 3 plus a 5 minus 2 okay, so uh, there you can see this gives you a 2 that gives you a 3 and we have 5 learners as a final answer We've answered 2019 GCE six question. Now we move on to answering the mathematics paper two 2019 internal six question. Six question. November 2019 for the internal students. The question reads The Venn diagram below shows the number of elements in set A, B, and C. So this is our Venn diagram. Right, so this is the Venn diagram under consideration. The Venn diagram below shows the number of elements in set A, B, and C. Question 1, so 3B1, find X such that numbers in set B are equal to numbers in B union C. Find the value of X such that numbers in B are equal to numbers in B union C complements. Are equal to numbers in B union C complements. Okay. So this is what we are trying to answer such that numbers in B are equal to numbers in B union C complements. 
So first and foremost, what's the num what are the numbers in B? What is the total number in B? And what is the total number of B union C complement? So let's look at B union C complement first of all. So B union C is everything here and in here, their union. So B union C complement is shown by the shaded area. So this area that I have shaded represents B union C complement. So, in short, what we don't know is numbers in B, but what we do know that B union C complement means everything that is outside B and C. So we have 7 and 10 there. So we know that this is 17 and there, we don't know what is there. So to find the value of our question mark, what we are going to do now is that we are going to add up everything that is in B alone. So let's deal with B alone so that we find the value of x. So dealing with B alone to find the value of x. So to do that we're going to say 4 minus we have our x minus 4 plus our 8 plus our 5 it should be equal to 17. So x and negative 4 plus 8 plus 5, what's the answer? Negative 4 plus 8 plus 5 gives us 9 being equal to 17. So our x is equal to 17 take away 9, therefore x is equal to 8. 8 elements. 8 elements. Once you do that, you get your full 2 marks. Question B or question 3B part B, part 2. Find the value of y. Find the value of y. Okay. So finding the value of y such that numbers in C are equal to numbers in A in set A. Find the value of y such that numbers in set C are equal to numbers in set A. So what we have, that's our set C and that's our A. So total numbers, in, okay, so there we have um, 2y plus 5 as the total number of elements in C being equal to 7 plus 8 as the total number of elements in set A. So what happens there, we have our 2y plus 5. These can't add up because they are unlike terms. is equal to 15. So let's group the like terms. We have 2y being equal to 15. 5 take the other side comes minus 5 or negative 5. 2y is equal to 10 over 2 
over 2, cancel that, y is equal to 5. That's the value of 5. That is the value of 5. Awesome! Our third part, third part of that question says, find numbers in E. Find numbers in E. So when you talk about numbers in E, you're talking about numbers in the universal set. So I'm now considering the entire universal set. So how do you find numbers in the universal set? You simply add up everything that you have. To find numbers in the universal set, you simply add up everything that you have. So I'm going to add up, um, let's begin our solution there. Seven plus eight plus Okay. Uh, the value of x so we're trying to add this but we know that the value of a, a x is 8 so plus 8 minus 4 so this thing I've added here represents that 8 minus 4 plus 5 plus 10 plus 2 open bracket 5 That will give us the value of the total numbers in the universal set. So we punch in our calculator 7 plus 8 plus 8 minus 4 plus 5 plus 10 plus 2 times 5. And we get our answer being 44. Good and done. You get your one mark there. It's not hard. It's a simple one. So they're not even giving much of the marks. We answer our last part for 2019 internal. And the last part says find numbers in B complement. Okay, we'll just squeeze in right here. Just squeeze in the question right there. Our space has finished. Numbers in B complement. First and foremost, if we talk about B complement, we are talking about this, this, this set. This is set B. So that is set B. So B complement means everything outside D, B. Everything outside B. So B complement is seven plus ten plus two y. So which is plus 7 there, plus 10, plus 2 multiplied by 5. So we have 17 plus 10, which is 27. Okay. So you get a mark there, you get a mark for that, you get a mark for that, and you get a mark for that. That marks the end of us answering our sets question that came in our 2019 paper 2 internal.